R O Y favorite Catherine Clark ignoring noise pushing to fringes of WNBA MVP discussions. Hello everyone and welcome to this short but to the point RT podcast. Well, I had a lot of feelings as the Indiana Fever clinched off a playoff berth of the first time since 2016 on Wednesday, and everybody is happy. So, I don't think I am alone in any of them. Above all else, I was ecstatic. The WNB playoffs are just something else when the fever are relevant. Indiana fans and their red doubt crowds have shown up and shown out in some of the most legendary moments in the league's story so far. Well, it's especially fitting that the fever has been rocking their red bloodline, Rebel Edition jersey, a nod to the team 2012 championship run. As their future is unfolding perhaps ahead of schedule. Then there is that feeling that's so uniquely compelling. The feeling that gets you hooked on a sport for life. Feeling we are witnessing rare greatness in action. We watch sports to witness. Great people do great things. And then we dream about how far they might take it. The fever went 13-27 last year. And ended up with the overall draft pick. Sure. It took them a minute to click early on this season, but even those with the loftiest turnaround expectation expected that as of Friday, they are 18-16, playoff bound are on 7-run since the Olympic break. So guys, what changed? We all all know that what changed. And here comes another of those feelings I have been grappling with. Catherine Clark progressive professional success. And instant stardom have become so wrapped up in narrative and the sub-narrative and all of their implication that she never endorsed or even had say in. This will happen to a truly famous athlete and the mainstream noise is one of the many indications of the W popularity rising. To me, all the take feeling some uh, some revenge to her of told, yeah, told you so to audience of zero. I mean, did, you, did anyone not believe in Clark? Sometimes the noise is exhausting reductive and bogus me down there to where I'm totally losing the plot and struggling to refrain from reacting. Then you remember the points of all that noise is a reaction, not celebrating and enjoying Clark's story group season. What a shame. In these moments, I I find it helpful to pause and ground myself in the facts. The fever drafted Clark with the number one pick. They barely made any other rooster changes headed into the season. These are the facts. It's also fact that the team around Clark has been cooking. According, according to the stats, Kelsey Mitch is the first player in the WNB history to go on a 5-game win streak averaging 25 points per game, 55% accuracy from 2. So guys, this is pretty much in this short but to the point audio podcast. I hope you guys really like it and I, and I am sure that you guys will support us by sharing this video and thank you so much for watching.